Okay, um, marhaba, salam. Uh, this is term two, week seven, physics AMS. I'll do them quickly, yani, cause kill repeat same material. Most of these questions I have either solved in the previous AMS uh, recording or the 4.1 to 4.7 recording. If you want to take a look at that, if you have free time. El Mohim, the moment of force F in this case is out of the plane of picture. Why? Because uh, in this case F will be you have it like this, or it can be uh, like this. Obviously, it's going to take the red path, which uh, is counterclockwise. The red path is counterclockwise, okay? Uh, which means it's positive. And when we say it's counterclockwise, that means it's always out, okay? So since it's out, uh, since it's counterclockwise, you say out and it's positive. Question two Which of the following will produce a turning effect on the lamina? Okay, uh, and we're rotating about A, so point A. Let's start with F1. Obviously, it intersects with uh, with A, so no. F2, it doesn't intersect. Uh, that will work. F3, also doesn't intersect. So that's correct. F5, doesn't intersect. So that's correct. F4, however, if you do draw it, eventually it will intersect. So F4 won't work. So all of them except F1 and F4. Uh, so F5, F3, F2. Okay, question three. Uh... Consider the moment, uh, they want the moment of F about vertex A, okay, uh, how much is it? Uh, they they want the moment, yeah, they don't want the magnitude. El uh, you have to first, the moment is equal to plus minus the force times the perpendicular, okay? So it will be, uh, in this case, let's see, is it going to be plus or is it going to be minus? Honestly, I, th I think it's both, both will work. Yeah, in this case, they're both equal, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. So, in this case, it's, they're obviously both equal. Uh, they should, yani, in previous times, they said the magnitude for this question, uh, especially. I remember they'd say the magnitude, so that means you wouldn't really put plus minus. But in this case, since they didn't say magnitude, you should put plus minus. But they're equal, so it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter uh, to put plus minus, since both these distances are equal. And you can prove it. Here's 60, here's 80. And here's 80, here's 60. So they're both equal. So there's no need to put plus minus. The distance, uh, sorry, the force is 20. Or oh, deep perpendicular. Let's take a look what's deep perpendicular. The, you have to draw the line of action of F. Uh, and we're talking about about vertex A. Let's see where they intersect. Intersect over here and form the perpendicular. And it's 60 centimeters. Okay, bear in mind. 60 centimeters. So you have to make it meters, which is 0 0.6. And you get 12. Okay. Uh, I put 12. Uh, because they want it in meters, huh? Uh, question four. Uh, the moment of this couple. Okay, it's the moment of a couple equals FD. Okay, F, the force. Uh, so the moment of this uh, couple is going to be 15 times the distance between them that has to be in meters. This is 2 CM. CM. Plus, now we need it in meters, so it will be 15 times 0 0.02. One, two, yeah, 0 0.02, and you're gonna get uh, have the answers here 0 0.3. You get 0 0.3. Uh, question five. Uh, this is the same question, okay, same exact question as question three, except yeah, here they said magnitude. Fayani, this is how it's supposed to be asked. Uh, I think we said it was 12. Let me double check first. If it turns out, yeah, it's the same question. It's supposed to have magnitude. Okay, question six. The measure of the turning effect is the torque. This is easy. Question seven. Uh, in which direction should uh, he apply the force generated by his hand in order to produce a maximum torque on the hole, on the bolt? Okay. The answer says direction one, and I'll tell you why now. Okay, these forces, five obviously cancels, okay, because it intersects with the point of rotation. Four has the same magnitude as 3, that has the same magnitude as 2, that has the same magnitude as 1. You'll tell me, Tabwali, didn't you say any, the further it is from the hinge, or the further it is from the point of rotation, then yani, uh, the more effect it has? True. But it has to be yani, straight. Like, 1 here is straight. It has uh, the the, uh, the longest distance. But if you were to look at 4, 3, 2, they're forces that are bent, you know, for like, their action isn't as strong as how how yani one would be. So if I were to show you here the perpendicular distance of one, it would be this distance over here. So if I were to show you the perpendicular distance of four, 
you draw the line of action of 4, you'd go over here. So the distance is way shorter for 4, even though it may look like it's a stronger force, but since it's bent, that you know, it cancels out everything. And kill al father. Since it's bent, if you get what I mean. But you want the force that's straight. That's straight, okay? Question 8. What is the net moment about O? Okay. About O. You have F1, F2, F3. Let's start with F1. F1 has zero effect because it intersects with O. Let's start. Let's go with F2. We have to check whether F2 is, uh, sorry, the moment of 2, a uh, moment 2 equals plus minus F2 times D perpendicular. We have to check if it's plus or minus. Okay, let's see. It can be like this or it can be uh, the red. It can be like this. Obviously, the blue one is shorter, yeah? But it will be uh, counterclockwise. Uh, counter counterclockwise because it's like this, uh, which is positive. So it's um, the moment two will be plus F two, which is twenty times D perpendicular. D perpendicular. You draw the line of action of F two. You draw the line of action of O. They form a perpendicular over here, and that distance from the perpendicular to O is two meters. For twenty times two, which is forty. How about F three? Let's take a look at F three. The moment of F three will be plus minus F three times D perpendicular. Okay, let's see. Uh, F3, uh, is it plus or minus? F3 can go like this, or it can go like this. Obviously, blue distance is shorter, which is clockwise direction, because it's going like this. Whoa, whoa. It's going, oh, again, it's going like this, which is negative, because it's clockwise. So negative F3, which is 15, times the perpendicular. So you have to draw the perpendicular. Uh, just draw the line of action of F3. Uh, line of action of O, they form a perpendicular over here, right? Or like over here, whatever you want. This distance is 5 meters. Okay, so 15 times 5, you get minus 75. Uh, this is 40, this is minus 75. You should get minus 35 uh, Newton meter. Uh, I think the answer is different, right? Yeah, 35 Newton meter uh, in the clockwise direction. Why not anti-clockwise? Because we got negative. What does negative mean? It means clockwise. Like in the AMS, last week, there was minus 23 Newton meter. We got this as the net moment. Everybody got this wrong because they didn't know how to type. The correct answer was put 23 and put clockwise. This is actually the original way on how to represent your moment. You have to say the magnitude and the direction because it's a vector. Okay, it's a vector. You have to say the magnitude and the direction. But look, you, the net moment will be, since we got minus 35, 35 in the clockwise direction. Uh, question 9, and I'm going to skip this, okay, it's going to be TNS, uh, if you want, go back on my old recording, but you just have to check, uh, since they want minus 40, they want clockwise, okay, you just have to check which for, uh, which forces will give you a clockwise rotation, if you really don't know it, go back on my old recording and find it, okay, question uh, 10, uh, again, yani, same thing, this is also in my old recording, uh, you have to find the net moment, I'll do it fast, since we're talking about A, we have three forces, F1, F2, F3. F2 is cancelled because it intersects with A. So we don't take F2. How about now we have to find the moment of F1 and moment of F3. Okay. The moment of F1 will be at this direction or it will be the red. Obviously, it will be the blue direction because that's uh, shorter. Okay. And the blue direction is uh, uh, counterclockwise, so positive. So it will be plus F1, which is 8 newtons times D perpendicular, you have to draw the, the, the line of action, draw the line of action of A, form a perpendicular over here, which is 6 centimeters, and they want it centimeters, for 8 times 6, 8 times 6, 48. Uh, F3, uh, moment of F3, you have to check if it's plus or minus, uh, if I do your drawing, uh, F3 can be like this, or it can be uh, the black one. Obviously, it's going to be the red one, which is clockwise, because it's like this, uh, which is negative, but it will be minus F3, which is 4 newtons, times the perpendicular distance. If I draw the perpendicular of F3, and draw the line of action of A, oh, sorry, draw the line of action of F3, and draw the line of action of A, the perpendicular is over here, which is 5 centimeters. Okay, you get minus 20. So your net moment will be 48 minus 20, which is minus 28. Okay. Minus 28. Since they only want one black, you keep it as minus 128. Uh, minus 28. But since the can't don't two blanks, 
you write 28 in the clockwise direction. Okay, and uh, I think this is okay. I'll keep it under 15 minutes. Okay, the moment of F1 is it uh, inwards or outwards? Okay, F1 it can go like this or it can go uh, the, all the way around like this. It's gonna be the red one, and the red one is uh, actually uh, clockwise, which is negative. Is this into or out? It's gonna be into because it's clockwise. Clockwise is always into, right? So it's directed into and it is negative because it's clockwise how about f2 f2 can go like this or it can go all the way like this obviously it's going to be the red one and the red one is counterclockwise which is positive so since it's counterclockwise counterclockwise is always out uh so out and is uh positive yeah positive that, that that's that's it yeah uh, negative, wait, no, no, into, out to, out of, uh, positive, negative. Okay, uh, question 12. Which of the following would produce a clockwise moment? Again, this is a repeat question, but I'll do it quickly. Uh, since it's like this, you have four choices. Uh, which of the following would produce a clockwise moment? You have four choices. Will it be the push, which is like this? Okay, well, actually, no, I have to draw it down. The push is like this, which intersects with... Uh, the axis of rotation, so I did no. Uh, the friction, which is like this, which intersects with the axis of rotation, so I did no. The weight, which is like this, you have to check the moment. It can go like this, or it can take the blue rotation, which will go all the way like this. Obviously, it will be the red one, and the red one is clockwise, so you take the weight as correct. If you want to check the reaction of the door stopper, the reaction of the door stopper. Uh, what's the reaction? I think the reaction will be the push like this. I'm not sure. Uh, the reaction of the door stopper. Ah, uh, the reaction of the door stopper is this. Uh, this is the reaction of the door stopper. Okay. Uh, it's the reaction of the door stopper onto the earth, which is upwards. El Mohem, I keep this not because it intersects with the, I mean, the axis of rotation, so it will produce no force. Uh, but if it was the normal force, like this N. It will be uh, counterclockwise, okay? If, uh, if if there was a normal force, that would also be wrong. Yeah, and you just yeah, to me on the safe side. What is the sign of the clockwise moment? You know, the clockwise is always negative, okay? Uh, F one. Uh, we're talking about uh, a so rotation around a. F one a key intersects with a. If I cancel that out, zero. F two. Uh, you take it back. Wait, wait, wait what am I doing? <laughs> uh, the moment of F2, sorry. The moment of F2 equals plus minus uh, F2 times D perpendicular. D, whoa, D perpendicular. Okay, uh, so it will be, let's see if it's plus or minus. F2 around A can go like this, or it can go all the way around. Okay, it's going to be the red one, Akid, which is uh, clockwise, which is negative. Yeah, negative. So it will be negative F2, which is 20 times D perpendicular. Uh, you have to check what is D perpendicular. F2, take back the line of action, or actually take it in front. Uh, and A's line of action is like this. Uh, there's a perpendicular over here, and the distance is 6 meters. So you get minus 120 meters. Okay. Uh, so you get minus, one, two, H, minus 120. Minus 120 newton meters, sorry. Uh, for, forget about the unit. But minus 120. How about uh, the moment of F3? Yeah, and these questions, I saw them before. That's why I'm going fast. It's going to be plus minus F3 times the perpendicular. Let's take a look at F3. F3 is over here. Uh, it can go like this. Or can go like this. Obviously, it's going to take the red one. And the red one is like this, which is positive because it's counterclockwise. So plus F3, which is 6 newtons times the perpendicular which is uh, take trace the line of action of F3 and the line of action of A. There's a perpendicular here, 10 meters, 2 meters, 12 meters. So to be times 12 equals 72. Okay, so you'll get 72. And the net torque will be minus 120 plus 72, which is just minus 48. Okay, uh, 0 minus 120 and 72. Okay. Question 14. Oh. Okay, uh, this one, the magnitude of the moment created by the two forces 
uh, you have to check since it's a couple 200 200 the moment of the couple is always FD right and in this case the force is 200 and the distance between them will be the diameter of the big circle right since the outer radius is 15 so since this radius is 15 the diameter will be double of 15 so it will be 30 okay so 200 times 30 but it's in centimeters we need to make this into meters so it will be 0 0.3 meters so 200 times 0 0.3 which is 60 okay uh the force the force so it will be 60. they're saying they want to exert a force on b and a force on a Okay, the force on B needs to cancel out this one to the left. So what do you do? You have to take it to the right. And the force on A should cancel out this one. So you have to take it to the left. But the force on A must be directed leftwards. And the force on B must be directed rightwards. Question uh, C. What's going to be the magnitude of F? You have to know that uh, they have to cancel each other out. Right? Uh, what the magnitude of F will be any... Uh, these two, this the the magnitude of the couple of these forces. You have to know that they have to cancel each other out. Okay, for three hundred, uh, sorry, three hundred, the force times the the distance perpendicular of these couple, or this the distance should be equal to sixty. Okay, because they have to cancel out. The distance in between A and B should be the diameter of this circle. Since the radius is ten, the diameter will be tw uh, twenty. So it will be the force times 20 equals uh this 20 centimeters equals 60 you need to make this meters for it will be f times 0 0.2 equals 60 for f equals 60 divided by 0 0.2 uh which is 300 newtons okay that's it thank you so much for watching uh sorry honestly and i thought it was repeat uh yalla good luck